Unfortunately, the coronavirus that is currently spreading worldwide stops the entertainment industry. Disneyland, for example, recently closed its doors, various sports have been suspended and the E3 Games Fair has been cancelled. The film world is also affected as many films have been postponed or put on hold for an indefinite period in view of the current situation. In the following, we will give you an overview of the currently known postponements, the stop productions as well as the early releases of of movies for home cinema. Probably the most famous postponed movies include Fast and Furious 9 and the new James Bond part No Time to Die. While Fast and Furious has been postponed by a whole year to April 2021, the new James Bond movie will be released in November. Similar to Disney's live-action Mulan movie, A Quiet Place 2, the romantic comedy The Lovebirds, The New Mutants, Marvel's first Phase 4 movie Black Widow and many many more, only that all these movies will be postponed indefinitely. Also affected by the coronavirus are current productions of movies and series. Among them is the planned Uncharted movie with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, which will be paused for six weeks. Saturday Night Live will also be suspended for three weeks. The production of Matrix 4, The Batman, the second season of The Witcher, Jurassic World, as well as all Marvel and Disney Plus series will also be on hold for the time being. Various TV stations and film studios are following suit and so all Apple TV+, NBC, Warner Brothers and CBS productions are currently, if not already done, being put on hold. However, film fans who currently have to spend most of their time at home can also be pleased about a small positive aspect, as some films are now available earlier on demand due to all the postponements and cinema closures. Frozen 2, for example, is now available three months earlier on Disney Plus in the US, while the new Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is only available a few days earlier for US home theaters. If you didn't make it to the cinema for the new Birds of Prey, you can now do so via Amazon, for example starting on March 24th, but also for the time being only in the US. The film giant Universal, for example, will even make films available that have already been released in the cinema, such as The Invisible Man, The Hunt and Emma, as well as the animated film Trolls 2. Also affected by this is Sony's new film Bloodshot, which will be available on demand in the US starting next week. But many film studios and journalists are of the opinion at the moment anyway that the summer of 2020, which is very important for the film industry, will probably be completely cancelled because no one can guarantee that all cinemas worldwide will be open again in two months. We are looking forward to the further development and of course we will keep you up to date as usual. Besides all the cancellations and postponements caused by the coronavirus, there is at least some good news for anime fans, as the series Bleach, which aired between 2004 and 2012, is supposed to be continued after all. At least if you believe the leaked cover of the manga magazine Weekly Shonen Jump, which is published regularly since 1968. It was already known before that there will be a big announcement for the anniversary of the Bleach series, but now it's finally clear which one. The series sequel is supposed to revolve around the so-called Thousand Year Blood War storyline from the manga series. When and how the series will be continued with a 15-year-old student is unfortunately not yet known. Under the hashtag release the Snyder Cut, the demand has been circulating on the internet for some time now that the version of Justice League created by Zack Snyder should finally be released. A similar and admittedly quite funny request now exists for the movie Cats, which was very much scorned by critics and moviegoers and which was released in the cinemas at the end of last year. The only difference is that it doesn't demand the cut version of another director, but the version in which you can also see the rear body openings of the cats, which were inserted by CGI and removed by computer. At least that's what you can read on Twitter in an answer of Jack Woss to a tweet of Ben Mackler. Shortly afterwards, several Hollywood stars, including Knives Out director Ryan Johnson, jumped at the chance and also demanded the butthole cut. Those of you who are interested in Cats despite the devastating reviews can watch the film on demand in the US since March 17th. 